This is a bioretention facility. So let me tell you just a little bit about the background of this area. You can see it's a steep street. And we're in an area that actually is in a combined sewer system. The other real challenge we have in this area is the soil. There's a lot of rock and clay layers. So infiltration isn't really great. We had an opportunity to pull some of that stormwater out of the combined sewer system to infiltrate it and have, find a better use for it. These systems have an underdrain. There's a perforated pipe in the bottom that collects the water and brings it to the bottom of the hill. There happens to be a park that has a pond and this water is used to augment the pond. This is the curb cut that allows the stormwater to actually flow into our garden. And Lincoln Street is a very steep street. And so to put in these bioretention systems, we needed to put some way to slow down the flow as it came down the street. And so we put these check dams. This is a composite material, so it won't degrade. And we put the rocks here to slow the velocity. So as the flow comes down the street, it will hit this. It'll back up, so we'll get good infiltration. And then as it gets heavier, or, or we get more flow, it'll flow over into the next side and can infiltrate there. So we got 18 inches of soil. Gives us a good amount of engineered soil for treatment. Stormwater is mitigated by large tree canopy. So we want to keep the trees healthy. We want them to have a long life because that makes a big impact to our stormwater. The canopy actually intercepts the precipitation before it hits the ground. So that's less stormwater for us to manage. The other advantage of having these gardens right next to the trees, that it has a place for the roots to grow that they can get water and air and have a healthier tree. So we had to do a plant palette that could be adaptable for the different types of conditions. All of our gardens on Lincoln Street have this plant, which is called Mahoney Rapins. It's a, like a ground cover organ grape, about 12 inches tall. It's very tolerant to wet and dry conditions. It also is really good on a snow load. And you can look where we are, we're right at the curb. When the snow plow comes down this street, this is where we store the s snow. This is one of those storm gardens that we have partial shade and partial sun. And then back here you can see this is Spurea. Right here you'll see it's just starting to flower. We don't need flowers for stormwater infiltration, but it does add a benefit to the neighborhood. It gives them some beauty. The neighbors are required to maintain these and to water them as they're needed. And so we have an agreement with the neighborhood to maintain, which comes out to be about twice a year in the spring to pull the weeds and in the fall to make sure that they're ready to take flow if there's any kind of debris, any, any kind of old leaves or anything, so they're not blocking. 